crazy one. Fine. Then it's settled. You're the crazy one. Look, I gotta get back to the office. Jessie here, she's gone back to Lakewood tonight. So let's try and settle things. What are we gonna do? About what? About what? About the Panama Canal. What do you mean about what? What are we here for? What is Jesse going to come all the way from Lakewood for? What are we doing in that woman's house where we've never been invited for nine years? Our brother, our poor, sick brother, he's had a nervous breakdown, for God's sake. Every time I hear it. What are you crying now for? You didn't just hear it, you know it for a week. You think I haven't been crying for the whole week? He's my brother. It hurts me. It hurts all of us. That is why we're here. Trying to do something. Harry, let her cry. She came all the way from Lakewood. Now go on, Harry. Fact number one. Mel had a nervous breakdown. Fact number two, besides a nervous breakdown, the man doesn't have a job. He is totally unemployed. You think that doesn't hurt too? Oh, Jesse, let him finish. You can cry on the way home. Fact Now go on with the facts, Harry. Fact number three, besides having a nervous breakdown and not having a job, the man is practically penniless. Now, I do not want to pass comment on how a man and woman must handle their savings for 27 years. It's none of my business how a man squanders his life savings on a bad investment without asking my advice once. The kind of advice which has given me solvency, security, and a beautiful place in the country, thank God. I'll never have a nervous breakdown. None of that's my business. But my business is what are we going to do for Mel? How much are we going to get? Well? You're the businessman, Harry. You make a suggestion. You tell us how much we should all give. Uh, let me have some coffee. as good as that in the sass, it shouldn't take six months. Oh, Shh, she's coming. Now, we'll let Harry do the talking. And then we'll settle everything oh, back. Oh, God, it's almost over. <clears throat> I'm sorry I was so late. So long, I mean. I was just talking to Dr. Frankel. Mel's on his way home. He'll be here in a minute. How is Mel? What does the doctor say? Well, it's difficult. Mel is in a very depressed state. He's completely withdrawn. He'll sit in that chair over there for hours, not saying a word, totally stum, not himself. Ah, you'll see when he gets in. It hurts me every time. So, what is it, a nervous breakdown? Is it a nervous breakdown? You can tell us we're his family. Oh, it is a nervous breakdown. Yeah, yeah, I guess in a way you might say it's a nervous breakdown. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. He had the same thing in high school. What is the diagnosis? What does the doctor say? Mel needs care and treatment. He's going to be fine. But it's just going to take time. How much time? A month? Two months? More than two he months? He can't tell yet. Oh, he can guess, can he? Three months. Four months? Or oh, more well, than four there months? There's no way of telling yet, Pauline. Could be four months. Could be four years. Oh, no. No, no. I refuse to go along with four I'm years. I'm not saying it will be, Pauline. I'm just saying we don't know yet. Oh, can I say something? Well, can I, I get a word in? I wish you would say something, Harry. I wish you would get a word in. Thank Make you. Her. Thank you very much. Four years is just ridiculous. Go on, Harry. Edna, we are all very concerned, very concerned. After all, he is our brother. Since he was a baby. Can you please let me do the talking? Will you let him do the talking, Jesse? Go on, Harry. We are very concerned, Edna. 
God, now we appreciate that you're his wife. You're going to do everything that you can. But we know it isn't going to be enough. We want to help. So, we have talked it out amongst ourselves and we are prepared to take over the financial responsibility of the doctor. No matter what it takes. Oh. <clears throat> well, I, I'm overwhelmed. I must say I wasn't expecting that. But I am deeply touched and overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. You don't say anything. Just tell us how much you think it's going to come to. <coughs> that is very generous of you. All. Oh. But I just couldn't let you do that. Mel wouldn't let me let you do that. Don't be ridiculous. Where are you going to get the money from? From a bank? We you can't offer up a nervous breakdown as collateral. Look, we have no idea how long Mel will be in treatment. It, it could run into a fortune. Let us worry about that. I the money we will take care of. I mean, it could run as high as ninety, a hundred thousand dollars. Harry, can I have a word with you in private, please? We have no need of any private discussions. We just found out what X is going to come to. Don't you think we ought to discuss X a little further? Not necessary. I don't care what it costs. The three of you can contribute whatever you feel you can afford. I will make up the deficit. Oh. It takes 80, 90, $100,000. I will see it's taken care of. As long as Mel gets the best medical treatment. That's all I have to say. I'm speechless. What do I say? <laughs> Don't say nothing. We just want to do the right thing. Well, I know none of us has been that close these last few years. Nine. Nine years was the last time that we were invited. Has it been that long? I guess it's been my fault. I guess I haven't really tried to understand you. And I guess you haven't tried to understand me. But anyway, I appreciate it more than you can imagine. But we really don't need it. What are you talking about? Certainly you need it. <laughs> Harry, we have managed to save something over the years. And uh, I have my jewelry I can sell. Well, then you're not, not going to sell your jewelry. Let the woman talk. Maybe she doesn't wear it anymore. Mel can cash in his insurance. And I have my job. I can manage whatever the medical expenses come to. But if you really want to help, what I'm worried about is Mel's future. We all are, darling. It's not easy for a man Mel's age to, to get a job these days. No, oh, if he knew light and fixtures, I would take him on another minute. <laughs> Certainly, my God. If he could just get out of New York and into the country someplace, he'd be 100% better off. I agree. 1,000%. I was thinking of a summer camp. Mel is wonderful with children and sports. I could do the cooking. The girls would help out. We could hire a small staff. Oh, there's a beautiful place in Vermont up for sale. We could have it ready for the summer. Don't you think Mel would be so much better off there? Don't worry again. One thousand percent. They won a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> down in cash. <coughs> so, I was thinking, instead of giving it to us for the doctor, would you lend it to us for the camp? Summer camp? Hundred thousand dollars for a summer oh, camp? Oh, no, no, no. No, the price is four hundred thousand. <gasps> they just won a hundred grand down. <laughs> $400,000 for a summer camp run by a man with a nervous breakdown? It'll be fine by the summer. Dick, you know what it, you know what it is for a normal person to have the responsibility for that many boys and girls? The lawsuit should be open for? I don't, know, I don't, I don't understand. You were willing to give Mel the money for the doctor. 
Well, what would you lend it to him for a cam? Because with a cam, you can go broke. You can go broke with a doctor too, but you get better. Okay, okay, you pay for the doctor, I'll invest in the cam. You mean you want us to pay to get Mal healthy? So you can lose all your money and get him sick again? And then come to us for more money for another doctor? I thought you wanted to do something. I thought you wanted to help him. We do want to help him. Then help him. Not when he's sick. When he's better, we help him. Right. Is that how you all feel? Do you all agree with Mel, with Harry? I am not familiar with Vermont. I'd say yes in a minute, but Harry's a spokesperson. I'd have to go up to see it, but um, I can't travel with my leg. Oh. All right, forget it. Forget the money. We don't need it. We'll get along very well without it. Thank you. I'm surprised you even offered it. It's good to know. When soon as Mel is, is completely recovered, and back on his own two strong feet again. I can count on you for help. That's just when we'll need it. Will you excuse me? I, I have a few important calls to make before I return to my office. Oh, and just in case I don't see any of you again for another nine years, you better eat up the cookies. What? What did I say was wrong? You're my witnesses. You, what did I say that was wrong? You said nothing wrong. I'm a witness. The truth is she doesn't want us to have him. Oh, and I was willing to give him anything. Mm. So does that mean we're not given to the doctor either? Oh. Why don't you pay attention? You never pay attention. A man and his condition running a summer camp. Oh. I spoke to him Thursday on the phone. He could hardly say hello. What did they do to her? Why does she hate us so? It's jealousy. That's what it is. That's all it is. Jealousy. Oh, I would love to get him out of here. <gasps> he could move in with me because oh. I would love to take care of him. Man and his condition run in a summer camp. Oh. Why, it would take him to August to figure out how to blow up the volleyball. Well, if nothing is decided yet, can I give my vote to Polly? I've got shock. Sit down. Yeah. Nothing has been settled yet. We'll have to settle it with Mel. With Mel? How can Mel make a decision in his condition? Him, I can reason with. He's only had a nervous breakdown. That woman is crazy. Let me have some more coffee. <gasps> I just had a nice walk. Hello, Mel. I'm from 82nd and Park. Don't tell Edna she doesn't like me to walk too far. Oh. Mel, do you know who this is? What do you mean, Harry? Nothing. Nothing, Mel. Luke is here to see you, Mel. Well, why shouldn't they be here to see me? They're my own sisters, aren't they? Who has better Aww. sisters than I do? Pauline. Mel, darling. And Jessie. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> ma, ma, Jessie. You look wonderful, Mel. <laughs> Everybody's here except Pearl. Here I am, Mel. Oh, there she is. Always hiding. You always used to hide from me when I was a baby. Uh, uh, what was hiding, Mel? I was just here. Mel, would you sit down? We want to talk to you. Something is wrong. Somebody in the family is sick. No, 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 no. Nobody's sick. Everybody's fine. Just uh, sit down. <laughs> I just had such a nice walk. That's wonderful, Mel. You always used to like to walk. Remember how you used to like to walk, Jessie? I was just saying that, Mel. Yeah. Oh, you're looking well, Mel. Oh, thank you, Polly. Are you feeling? Uh, what's that, darling? I just said, I. Are you feeling all right? Am I feeling all right? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. I just had a really nice. Walk. Oh, 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 that's nice, dear. <laughs> Yeah. Where's Pearl? Did she go home? No, I didn't go home. Here I am, Mel. Oh, there she is again. 
man hiding to get she always used to hide from me, you Meryl! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Meryl! Harry wants to say something to you, Mel. Yes, Harry. Nothing, Mel. Nothing. Harry, you don't look well to me. You work too hard. Don't work so hard, Harry. I yep. won't, Mel. You know, you really need to relax more. Three things I learned from my doctors. One, relax. Two, don't take the world too serious. And three, be very careful what you say when you go out on the balcony. Oh, oh, oh.